it was just a risk. This was like, this felt like, I was like, whoa, I haven't read a script like this in a while. It felt ambitious, it felt challenging, it scared me as an actor and as an artist, and so that was really exciting. And then um, I told myself, you cannot read the books until after you know for sure whether you got this or not, because if you read these books, you will fall in love, and then you will, you will mess up these auditions. So I waited, I fortunately got it, and then I, I fell in love with the books as soon as I read them. Yeah, I hadn't read the books either until I got the audition, but I remember when the script came through my email and I just saw the title of it and I called my agents and was like, I haven't read it yet, but I just want to go in. Because I, I grew up loving magic and fantasy, it's my favorite genre. And, and then I read the books and I not only fell in love with Alice, but I just fell in love with the complexity of the characters that Lev wrote and the landscapes that we get to play in. It was just like, I was just dying to play this, this role. So I, it, was, it was so exciting and I didn't finish reading the books until after I got the audition because I felt superstitious about yeah. it. We're not epic fantasy. We're not of the Game of Thrones, like Lord of the Rings yeah. world of fantasy, we are of the magical education. And, and we are the next step in that lineage from Narnia to Harry Potter to now the magicians. And I think that that's incredible like shoulders to step on. We learned hand and finger tutting for the spell casting. And it was really difficult for me. I it's, think it's, it came a lot easier to some people than others. But what I found to be the most fun of it is Everybody had a different style and, and everybody's magic is very different and very reflective on who their character is.